Thank you, guys. Uh, we are going to continue on the line of the previous presentation, right? Just quick reminder, we are an enterprise for delivering services, and that means uh, providing consulting and installation services. And in particular about this topic, we have seen before that whereas containers are the way to go for many, many things, uh, there are still some issues with mostly in regard to the HPC architecture, right? So one trend that we are seeing now is that uh, a lot of clients are requesting us for converged computing, which means having everything, right? Uh, mostly traditional HPC centers that require to continue giving services to a traditional HPC community, but also uh, new uh, user communities, they are mostly that they want to do things their own way, right? And we have already seen and we have already discussed with Eduardo that uh, basically HPC brings does better things like queue in prioritization and tracking of resources, right? Whereas cloud computing, uh, in particular orchestration services like Kubernetes are better for scalability, availability, and so on, right? Uh, so converged computing is the idea of implementing the best of both worlds, and we will see how we try to do that in uh, do it now. So just Linking to the overall topic, it's clear that containers is a key enable for this, okay? The containers allows us to move the workloads from one platform to the other, so you have your containers application, it may be in principle possible to move it from an orchestrator to a batch system, a workload manager, okay, provided both implement container interfaces. Uh, uh, that also means for the users that they want to, they ha are able to share these applications, okay, it's more comfortable with them and there are no other ends at the platform level. And we have also the idea of encapsulations that, bring, uh, that containers bring that uh, you have, you can remove dependencies both on the lower layer, have we have seen before, and the upper layer, okay, both on the hardware or on the platform level and user application level. So this is a current topic, okay, uh, many uh, customers are pushing for this, they want this, okay, in order to serve, uh, to have the best of both worlds. And what we are seeing here is that we are in a, a little bit treacherous phase in which we have a technology gap, okay? We, it is a hot topic, we are seeing it. There are a lot of ideas, a lot of research, a lot of community effort. But when it comes to going into production and to providing the clients and the customers a supported service and a stable solution, we do not have that many options, right? So a little bit uh, on things that have already been discussed, uh, different approaches we can, we can recommend to the customer in order to implement the best of both works in a increasing level of complexity basically have both platforms period, okay, in the same data center, okay, clear an option, not the best one. To have on the same infrastructure, different partitions, both platforms, okay, again, little bit better than the previous one, but not the best one either, because you cannot create synergies between both platforms. And then to have both platforms coexisting, in this case a workload manager like Slurm and Kubernetes, at different levels, right? You can have them both with the control planes coexisting, okay? You have both services and the compute nodes and have them integrated somehow. You can have uh, Slurm managed by Kubernetes, okay? Or you can have Kubernetes managed by Slurm, okay? Uh, some ca somehow having one within the other. So we see a lot of different solutions uh, going in any of these directions. Uh, we see also that the Kubernetes community, in our opinion, is making much more effort in order to bring this compatibility than the workload manager communities. Workload manager are kind of static and slow in implementing changes. Uh, so in any case, everything is going to be through containers, right? So this is in Do It Now some projects that we have considered, okay? Uh, very, very fast because some of them are, have already commented. HPK, okay, that bring, tries to bring a Kubernetes within the workload manager, okay, tries to emulate a Kubernetes within the batch job. Uh, again, uh, a project that is evolving, uh, but uh, 
is not the best in order to orchestrate big applications. Okay, we have Sankit that it was a very promising initiative, but uh, not to gossip a lot, but uh, we think there has been some issues over there and the project is not having the same momentum it had before, let's say. We have Plax that is changing the paradigm totally, okay, and just moving away from Slurm and doing things differently. And then we have more conservative projects that we have tried, right, that are based on operators that try really to connect both platforms, okay? You have an orchestration platform in which you have maybe the main application and then you try to submit to the batch scheduler through the use of these operators, okay? We have different operators for Slurm, for Torque, more conservative, more stable, less risky, but still you do not, they are more complicated technically and you are reporting to the users the, the, the effort of the migration. So in the end, and just uh, two more slides, I don't know how good I am in time, but just finishing, uh, this is the current proposal we implemented right now at Do It Now, okay? Uh, it is a conservative approach, but it's stable, okay? We try to deliver uh, both applications coexisting on the same pl infrastructure, okay? We provide Kubernetes, we provide a workload manager that may be Slurm or any other, and we try to implement with the administrator some policies on some, uh, let's say, workflows in order for them to be able to manipulate easily both platforms, okay? In order to basculate the workload in one side or in the other, maybe on a daily basis, maybe on a weekly basis, or reactive to the needs of the community at some point. So this is our current proposal. Uh, it's not the best one, but we have these problems in order to implement anything on the customer side. We have a lack of standardization at this moment. A lot of solutions are going in different directions. We don't know which one may be the best one at this moment or which one may be the best one in the future. There is a lot of a lack of maturity and mainly about the stability. Okay, there are maybe very good solutions out there, but we will not know if there will be there tomorrow, if the guy developing will move to somewhere else, or just if uh, for whatever reason, uh, the product we will stop evolving and we will have to find another solution. And customers need supported solutions, right? And of course, the, la the landscape is continuously evolving, so even if we have uh, any solution that at this moment we think is the best, it may not be the best tomorrow, okay? So it is a, a, a lot of effort for us to keep pace and to be aware of what is the best solution at a particular moment. And that's it.